I can't believe how much I am loving this palette. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. It sells for $55 and you can get it at Ulta, Sephora, or Nordstrom. There are 12 shades in this palette, five of which are matte, one duochrome, and the rest are shimmers. Three of these colors are labeled as pressed pigment and not eyeshadow. And let me take just a moment and explain that. There is a red dye that is in Wisteria that the FDA has not approved for use around the eyes. Now, Wisteria, the lavender shade, Paloma, the cream, and Metro, the clay shade, are the three that are labeled as pressed pigments, although that red dye does not appear in the ingredients for Paloma or Metro only wisteria. So if you have sensitivity to that dye, you should avoid using those three shades. For a long time there, it felt like all Anastasia was coming out with were these crazy bright colors that just were not my jam. But these muted summer shades are gorgeous. And I had so much fun putting together these four looks. Starting with a BK Beauty 201 brush. This is a big, fluffy crease brush. And I have gone into the shade Wisteria Matte Pastel Lavender. And boldly, I am doing it in my crease. One thing I have learned in using this palette is you can do a very sheer wash of color with these. If you pick up a little bit on your brush, and tap it off, you're just gonna get a nice sheer wash. You can build it up, but you will work to build it up. Now I'm going in with a MAC 221, a much smaller crease brush, and into the shade Floor, which is matte golden peach and I am really concentrating in my crease here. I wanted this to go over the lavender, over the wisteria, but I am not working it up on my eyelid. I'm going back into wisteria to build up that lavender. Like I said, it goes on quite sheer, and I really wanted to pump it up a wee bit. Now I'm using my finger and going into the shade Isle, which is a metallic blonde gold, and you are gonna see this metallic is gorgeous. You can see this from miles away. It is so pretty. I didn't pick up any additional product on that crease brush, just whatever fleur was left on there to deepen that crease a wee bit more and make the definition, uh, well, more defined. Now it's time for lower lash line. I've got my Morphe flat shader brush here. That is the M432. And I am picking up Liberty Matte Muted Hunter Green. I'm doing the outer half of my lower lash line and the outer quarter of my upper lash line. The shape of my eyes does not allow me to wing out anything. And so I do this kind of wedge at the outer corner that works for my eye shape. And here it is with mascara, nice and close up and farther away. I think this is such a pretty look, a great way to use that lavender. To create this look, I'm starting with my pinky and going into the shade Lily, a metallic rose gold. I'm building that up on the movable part of my lid about the first two thirds. Again, with my finger, going into Peacock. This is the duochrome a bluish green-brown with pink reflex. And I am tapping that 
just tapping it to apply the color to the outer half of the movable part of my lid. And there you can get a feel for the color shift. Now I am taking a MAC 221 and I'm going into Floor, which is really one of the only crease shades in this palette. I'm catching the top edges of those two colors that I did on the movable part of my lid and then building up the crease. This is a very small refer brush and I am going into Paloma Matte Creamy Ivory. I am really liking this shade in with that flat Morphe shader brush again. I have so many of those. And I picked up Muse Metallic Dark Chocolate Brown to do my lower lash line and that wee bit of the outer corner of the upper lash line to do that wedge. And I'm just taking a clean finger to kind of buff it out and soften it up a bit. And here is the final look. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara and also her lipstick in the shade Butterscotch. I wanted a nude lip because the eyes have a certain boldness to them. And I think this is so pretty. I am taking my Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty brush A502, picking up a little bit of Liberty, that muted hunter green, and placing that in my crease. As you can see, I, I didn't pick up much and it is just really subtle. So you can use these darker shades in the crease without having them go too dark. Now I'm using a MAC 239 to pick up Metro, that matte rich clay, and I am building that on the outer half of the lower part of my lid. And now with anything left on my brush, I'm doing the inner part of my lid. Now I'm going into aisle and going over the inner half of my lid and then with the tail end of it, just dusting it on the outer corner. Flipping the brush over and picking up a little bit more Metro and deepening the outer corner. I put a little Fleur in my crease as well. And using Paloma under my brow. My favorite unnamed unnumbered Morphe brush, that flat shader brush, I'm picking up Metro for my lower lash line. Here's a close-up of the final look. I used the Lancome Hypnose, the new mascara in brown. I tight-lined with CoverGirl 24-Hour Exhibitionist in the charcoal gray, and I have Uma's Lady of Gold on my lips. I love this look. For this look, I'm gonna be using the greens in the palette, and I'm starting here with Liberty on a refer pencil brush, going on the outer quarter to third of the movable part of my lid. and going into Hope, the metallic olive green. And that is going over the entire movable part of my lid. And now I'm picking up Wings, the metallic silver green, that is a lighter shade, concentrating that on the inner corner, but as you can see, sweeping it across the entire lid. taking a flat shader brush and going back into Liberty to use underneath my lower lashes and taking it about two-thirds of the way across and the outer corner of my upper lash line and going in doing my crease now with Fleur that golden peach my little rougher brush picking up 
both Paloma and Isle to get a little sparkle under my brow, but not too much. I want to deepen up under my lower lash line, so I'm going in with Hope, the metallic olive green. And here's the final look. I think these greens are amazing. And of course, I went for a very bold orange lip. This is MAC 427 Shamelessly Vain. And I used the Rare Beauty Mascara. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also enjoy this one on Anastasia's Primrose Palette or this playlist that has all of my eyeshadow reviews.